Elena Nolan and I'm the Collections Manager here at the Battleship New Jersey. We are in our new exhibit, uh, New Jersey Pre uh, Past, Present, and Future. Uh, it is about the three ships called New Jersey, BB-16, who was the first one, us, BB-62, and the new submarine, which is not actually finished yet. Uh, she should be done next year, and that is SSN 796. Real briefly, I want to talk about uh, probably my favorite artifact that we have in our entire collection. It, it pertains to BB-16. Uh, it's very fragile and very old, so it's not actually out in the exhibit. I do have high resolution scans of it for people to flip through. But it is a photo album from a midshipman's cruise in 1960. Uh, the photographs are in wonderful condition, but the paper that it is adhered to is disintegrating, so we can't have it out for people to touch, and we don't want it out under the fluorescent lights. Um, it's a great way, it's a great look into the day-to-day -day life of sailors because this was a midshipman's cruise a little bit more laid back. Obviously, this gentleman, who we do not know who it was, uh, had lots of time to take pictures. You see people doing laundry, scrubbing the deck, uh, rowing, having rowing contests. Um, there's various officers that are shown, and he does actually take quite good notes uh, about where they are, other ships that are in the area. So he's actually a much better a uh, diary keeper than a lot of our more modern sailors. The sailors' experiences aboard the ships are actually one of the themes that goes through this entire exhibit. So on BB-16 we talk about the fact that you didn't have solid racks and you had to sleep in a hammock. And even though on BB-62, uh, when we were first commissioned in World War II, our, early, uh, our sailors would be issued hammocks during boot camp, but they wouldn't actually need them on the ship. Of course, they didn't have air conditioning and all of that good stuff that we have now and the good climate control that the submarine will have, which would be even better than what we have here on the battleship. One of the things that is interesting, even though this covers all the way from the Great White Fleet to hopefully about 30 years into the future by the time the submarine is decommissioned, is how much sailors' experiences are the same. So their surroundings can change a little bit, obviously technology changes, but being a sailor in the U.S. Navy is pretty much, uh, uh, it's so based on tradition that there is not a lot of, of variance. So that's all we have for today. Uh, please like and subscribe and please share freely.